In a quaint village nestled at the foot of a majestic mountain, there lived a young stonecutter named Kai. He possessed exceptional skill and artistry in carving rocks, yet he often found himself dissatisfied with his work and longing for more. One day, as Kai chiseled away at a large stone, a renowned sculptor named Master Hoshi passed by. Intrigued by the young stonecutter's craftsmanship, Master Hoshi approached him and engaged in conversation. Master Hoshi sensed Kai's inner turmoil and asked, Young one, why do you seem so discontented despite your remarkable talent? Kai sighed and replied, Master, I have been carving stones for years, but I still feel empty inside. I long for more meaning and fulfillment in my work. Master Hoshi nodded knowingly and invited Kai to accompany him to his studio atop the mountain. Eager to learn from a master, Kai accepted the offer. As they ascended the mountain, the air grew still, and a serene atmosphere enveloped them. They reached the studio, a simple wooden structure overlooking the village below. Inside, Master Hoshi gestured for Kai to sit beside him. With a gentle smile, the wise sculptor shared a profound teaching about motivation. Kai, true motivation lies not in changing your circumstances, but in changing your perspective, Master Hoshi began. You see, the stone you carve is merely a vessel for your expression, but the true essence of motivation comes from within you. Perplexed, Kai questioned, Master, how can I find this inner motivation? I feel trapped in my discontentment. Master Hoshi reached for a small, smooth pebble and handed it to Kai. Hold this pebble in your hand and close your eyes, he instructed. Kai followed the master's guidance, feeling the weight of the pebble resting in his palm. With closed eyes, he began to breathe deeply, allowing his mind to settle. Master Hoshi continued, Now imagine that this pebble is not a lifeless object, but a symbol of your inner motivation. It represents your passion, your purpose, and your drive. Kai felt a surge of curiosity and wonder as he contemplated the pebble's significance. Slowly he started to realize that motivation was not an external force to be found, but a seed that existed within him, waiting to be nurtured and embraced. Master Hoshi gently spoke again. Remember, young one, true motivation comes from connecting with your inner self, your deepest desires, and the joy that resides within your creative spirit. Allow your work to be a reflection of your inner world. With these words echoing in his heart, Kai left Master Hoshi's studio, carrying the pebble in his pocket. As he returned to his stone-cutting workshop, he looked at his tools and the rocks before him with newfound appreciation. From that day forward, Kai approached his craft with a fresh perspective. He no longer sought motivation from external recognition or the approval of others. Instead, he delved deep into his own being, exploring the vast reservoir of inspiration within. With each stroke of his chisel, Kai infused his work with his inner passion and purpose. The stones seemed to come alive under his touch, revealing their hidden beauty and telling stories only he could bring forth. Word of Kai's transformed artistry spread throughout the village and people marveled at the depth and soulfulness of his creations. Yet the greatest reward for Kai was not the admiration of others, but the profound sense of fulfillment he found within himself. And so, the stonecutter's lesson remained etched in Kai's heart forever, a reminder that true motivation lies in connecting with one's inner being, embracing one's authentic expression, and finding joy in the journey of creation. So what do you think is the moral of this story? Comment below. What moral message did you get?